We've arrived. Gary looking very dapper in his top hat and tails. We parked the car. We just had a couple of pictures of us in the car park before we set off for Royal Ascot. We're around about a five minute pass and they're just watering down the horses that have just been in the first race because we watched the Queen. We missed the first race. And we've arrived. Look at it. Left luggage. The beautiful. So when you're in the Royal Enclosure, there's a dress code for ladies and gentlemen, and that's it. So here we are outside one of the Royal Enclosure parts where we could actually go in. So here we go, here's all the terrace full of people, absolutely full. So we're in uh, the Royal Enclosure and then right down at the bottom, so right down there, if I can try and zoom in as far as I can, you have, so if I just put my finger here, there. Can you see that little white tent in the middle? That's where they are and then they're going to come all the way down the course and then they finish there. Now that, believe it or not, is not flashing but for some reason on cameras, lights go a bit funny on me so they finish there. Right down the bottom but they've set off now and you can hear the commentary going on. So this is the third, the third race. Gary's bet on Cardem if I'm saying that right. <laughs> He's at the back of the field. He's at the back of the Gary's bet on. Gary doesn't know anything about these kind of races. He normally bets on horses that are got better form, which means they're older than three years old. Hello, in the Gary's very, very, very good at, at betting. Uh, well, Tipster. He's the top in the top five Tipsters in the UK for flat racing. Winners, I don't know. Winners enclosure. Where? Where's the winners enclosure? Right, come on. Let's walk and have a look at everybody because it is fascinating. Oh, here. What's this here? What's this down here? So they're cooling the horses down down there. Can we get in there or? No, I mean over there. Can I just go and fill? That's the parade ring, isn't it? Oh, that's where they've just finished. So surely that's where, is that not where Frankie Dettori's just been? Okay then. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look further down. So if I've got it right, Frankie Dettore is just uh, picking up. So he's just won that last race. And that's the parade ring um, for the owners that can go in if they have some sort of ownership of the horse. This is also the parade ring, so before a, before a um, race, they will come parade their horses so you can have a look at them. Look at that It's amazing, isn't it? down to another part of the Royal Enclosure. The, this, the, the fourth race has just begun um, and there's some amazing outfits. 
So we're going to see the, the horses come hurtling past in a minute. If you can see, I don't know if you can see up in front, if I can make it a little bit bigger, there's a lollipop. There's like a lollipop here. here. And that lollipop is where they finish the race, so we're going to see them hurtling down when they finish the race. So they've finished the race now, but look, they're coming past here now. Look. I love these seahorses, so just had to get a picture. This is when we met up with Juliet. We were hoping to see her through the day, but we didn't know whether we were going to be able to. Then, of course, I had to have a picture with Gary as well. And they'd be really easy to make, those seahorses. <laughs> yeah. The Rose Terrace, which looks absolutely beautiful. All pink. Lovely flowers. Yeah. Show you here. So if you wanted to have something to eat here in the road enclosure, you've actually got a book. And it could be anything from sort of £300 per head. I'm just going to film going through. That's Juliet in front. She actually changed her outfit. She wore that on television yesterday, but wasn't expecting to wear it today because it was such a lovely... She's got so many outfits, I can't even tell you. She's got so many hats. She's got a room full of hats. She's got a choice of, like, really, really fantastic. Gary, and then that's her husband, Steve. I'm just looking at some of the areas that you can go to. So we're now watching the fifth race of the day and Juliet uh, has had a big race on, big uh, bet on this one. Only 30 pounds, but I don't understand what she's done, but she's done a bit too big. She's got a few horses in here. Coral Beach with a flying run and Coral Beach with a flying run on the near side with Foxy Topsy. Thanks be Magnetic Charm as they race the line and thanks be denies Magnetic Charm. So that's where you can also bet down there. We're now in the members club at Royal Ascot. Um, thanks to Juliet and Steve. So we're having afternoon tea and champagne, which is absolutely a marvellous. It's a bit like being in the ring. Look at all the fabulous hats down there. Gosh, very lucky. I feel very, very lucky today. This is bits in life that you don't want to miss out on, but only happens ever once. But they're coming down now. They're coming down now. Where? So the Royal Box is where? So where we are in the members club now, the Royal Box is the next one along. She'll be overlooking that race now with the Queen. Incredible. So we're just looking down at the stands here and then we've just come to the end of the members which Juliet and Steve are a member of and we just look over there and that's actually where the Queen is so that's everybody that's in with the Queen so you can see the empty part here and then the part the next bit that's filled up that is where all the Queen's I don't know guests are I suppose so that's where if the Queen wants to come out and watch a race that's where she will be too fabulous isn't it this was inside the members club of royal ascot where we sat down for afternoon tea so going down now come on we've got to be quick to see they're singing at the bandstand oh, i'm so stuffed because we've just had afternoon tea in the members club who were henry and uh i've eaten too much i've not eaten any carbs or any carby stuff as i've always told you since 25th of March, so to eat all that now, oh my god, my body's going, what the hell?
Oh, hello, Natasha. Do you hope you have been feeling? Looking fillies about. There is. It's a very good looking girl. Right, shall we go crossing? Go meet um, Juliet. So that's the parade ring. We got that a little bit earlier. You can only go in that part of the parade ring though if you've actually got or part owner racehorse. You can see the ones that haven't been in the royal enclosure. One, because they haven't got their badges on, but two, they won't be dressed appropriately. Oh, sorry. Ascot shop. Yeah. It's a queue for it again. It is! It's a massive queue! No, it's a flower wall that's so easy to make. You can get all that from eBay. <laughs> a lot of people queuing up for it. Right, I need to go to Lost Property and go and get my flip flops. Not Lost, lost Property, Left Property. Sorry? I didn't get my stuff. Um, so I found. So, this has been such a wonderful, magical day. It really has been absolutely superb. So, I'm just going to show you uh, the whole stand here. This is from the back, obviously, not looking over the horse racing. And then this would have been the parade ring. But even the flowers are beautiful. Now, obviously, this goes on all week from Tuesday to um, 
Saturday, so it's still on, to, still on tomorrow, but this will probably go out Saturday or Sunday for you. Um, but we've been really lucky enough not just to get into the Royal Enclosure, but also to get into the memory as well. And I'm wearing Juliet's hat, and I can't even tell you how many compliments I've had today for this hat. People have actually stopped one in their photos, which is just incredible. Um, but I've loved it, absolutely loved it, and it's been an amazing experience. One that I didn't even know whether I'd enjoy, but I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And because of Juliet now, we can come back next year and be in the Royal Enclosure. But there we go. That's the parade wing where Frankie Dettori was a little bit earlier on. I showed you a little bit of when we went down to the white tents. But because I was with other people, I didn't want to be doing too much filming. Uh, so unfortunately, because of that, I've missed out on loads of stuff today um, to film for you. And I feel like I've only got you a little tiny snippet of it. Um, but it's been incredible. And obviously the members club, because we got in there and Steve was... Um, really good and, and got us passes for there just for today that that very rarely will happen we've got afternoon tea in there we've got free champagne so very 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 lucky very lucky indeed so uh, yeah we're definitely gonna be coming back next year but now we're going on to party with Juliet and Steve we're going to party in the owners and trainers uh, um, sort of marquees so and I think they do some singing there but this has been the parade ring where all the singing oh no sorry the singing's gone over there so this is the parade ring, that's the finishing, so the singer's been gone, gone over there. So yeah, so everywhere that we have a badge for, so this is the Royal Enclosure, um, you've got archways and it says Royal Enclosure, but you have security guards on them, so they check your badge to make sure it says Royal Enclosure. And you can see it says this on it. And there's loads of them everywhere, so if you haven't got that, you can't get into that part of the races, which of course, Many people have been to Ascot, but not had the privilege of going to, uh, to the Royal Enclosure, which we have, and God, I feel incredibly lucky. Very, very, very lucky girl, and it is luck. It's luck that I have a friend like Juliet, I've met Juliet, and um, we've managed to do it. <laughs> anyway, we're off to party now, so I'll still take you with me. Um, but don't forget to subscribe, press that subscribe button, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I won't see you later, because I'm gonna see you in a minute. So we're leaving now. Um, and going over to the trainer's tent. So I'll just turn you around and show you everybody else. <laughs> Thank you. Right, as we're leaving, Gary's just donated some money to the RAF. And uh, the girl that was had the bucket um, ended up knowing me, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But, um, yeah, she's done really well for herself. She's in the RAF reserve. We're okay, thank you. We're okay. Okay, thank you. No, we're okay, thank you. We're okay, thank you. They'll expect money for it. Yeah, don't let them put money in. You put, don't let them put it in your pocket. That's what they want. They wanted to collect money, and then they and they end up being nasty and cursing you. I'm not having. Believe in a gypsy curse. So here, that's um, that, I'm sure that's where it is. But she said you go further down and cross on a pedestrian crossing. Oh, here it is. No word of a lie. We've actually got chauffeurs here waiting to pick up their guys in the car park. <laughs> this so we're coming to the party now but there's there's chauffeurs God, blimey. I do want to put my flip-flops on now but I've coat well haven't I but we haven't you walked very far you <laughs> sat my arse all day. You sat my arse eating race. cakes I'm horrendous that's just really bad you racing? of course I have it's not about the racing though is it it's not about the racing it's about enjoying yourself Gary oh thank you Gary I went past me, Steve because I haven't asked him. Juliet, look at beautiful. Go on, film it! Film it! Um, and this is us at a party. I can't tell you which party we're at because unfortunately I can't give any names away. I wouldn't want to upset anybody, but we're at uh, somebody's party here who's a famous uh, race horse owner and it's absolutely amazing. There's free booze, free food, and it is fantastic. I'm in such a good time. This is Basil. 
and he owned a bar, Basil's Bar, in Mustique, where Princess Margaret used to go. He's got an OBE, and we met him afterwards. Uh, sorry about the hat hair. They've got music playing, and everybody's having a good time. And actually, there's some very, very, very drunk people. <laughs> it's very funny <laughs> watching everybody. Um, but yeah, really good time. That's the toilets, look. They've even got Regal by Andersons. It's not portaloos, they're portaloos, but they're posh portaloos. Uh, they're the ones that they use when we do backstage road shows and stuff when, when I was in my singing days. Oh no, there's Lou's there and all. Owners, trainers and jockeys, Royal Ascot. So we're walking back to our car now. Uh, Gary and I think we've got an idea where it is, but we're not so sure. So this all happens on Car Park 2 at Royal Ascot, yeah. So we're gonna go back to my brother's now. So what an amazing day, and I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. Oh my God, I can't film it, but the quality of some girls that are drunk. Um, there's a girl in a really short dress that's cropped right the way up. You can almost see a bum. Needs a wee, she's got no shoes on. She crawls into a corner, which obviously looks like has had loads of men wee in there with her bare feet and just pulls a skirt up on the main high street and starts having a wee. I mean quality, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted, <laughs> obviously I couldn't film because it wouldn't be fair, sorry, thank you, um, woo, <laughs> that's what you get from drunken pissed women, isn't it? <laughs> Big box in the background. Uh, I want to say cheerio, it's funny watching all the women stumble, uh, not being able to cope with walking in heels, so I just want to say cheerio, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, I hope you've enjoyed your day at Ascot with me, I'm so sorry I didn't do enough filming, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll see you later.